you know, Microsoft Research was, was heavily involved in the creation of Microsoft Connect. Uh, the Xbox Connect product was, is, on the one hand, it, it is a way um, to interact with a game, right? interact with a game console. But, but more to, to the point, it's changed the way people think about how computers interact with them and see them and, and perceive them. You know, it not only does a great job of tracking your motion, but it also does a great job of hearing you because of the array microphone that's built into it, because of the speech recognition technology we have in it. And so it's really changed the dynamic. Uh, and, and I think it's changed how people think, even in the research world, about what, what you can do to interact with a computer. So I've seen a huge number of universities using you know, Xbox Connect as a way of experimenting with new kinds of user interface paradigms and, and thinking about ways in which you know, computers can perceive the world around them in, in, when they really couldn't before. I mean, in some sense, you know, in the very old days with computers, um, they were kind of deaf, dumb, and blind. You, know, you, you can think of the, the old typewriter interfaces as sort of like reverse braille, right? Uh, and that's kind of what those, what those devices were like. They couldn't perceive the world. Now we've given, literally, senses to our computers. They can see, they can hear, they have a sense of motion uh, through accelerometers. They know where they are through GPS. Uh, they can feel by having touch interfaces. You know, and, and that's really changed the dynamic between the computer and the person. As we've given our, our computer senses, right, um, we've given them an ability to act independently that they didn't have before. Uh, you know, if you think about it, you know, if, if all the information you're getting is from somebody typing on a keyboard, you know, you don't, as a computer, it's hard to write a program for that computer that can, that can decide what it's supposed to be doing. It just does what it's told, right? You type in something to, for it to do, and it does it. Or you click on a mouse, and it does it. Um, by giving our computer senses, now they can make decisions on their own. You know, they can say, oh, you know, is there anybody in the room, right? So Xbox actually knows, is there anybody in the room? If there's not, you know, maybe I should turn myself off. Uh, is there someone in the room? Okay, now I need to pay attention to that person. Is it the person that was there before, or is it a new person, right? Those are things that the system can now do and can take action on independently without having you say anything. You know, and you know, again, we start to think about how you know, computers can you know, aid people in their lives in a more significant way. That ability to let the computer be able to make decisions because it can, in fact, perceive the world around it in the same way that you do is really important.